Harriet Beecher Stowe. An author, a teacher, an abolitionist. Her influential book, Uncle Tom's Cabin, shaped anti-slavery opinions in the North and provoked irritation in the South. She contributed to the start of the Civil War and abolishing slavery. She was born on June 14, 1811, in Litchfield, Connecticut, to Lyman and Roxana Beecher. Her mother died when Harriet was only five, and her sister Catherine took her under her wing. She was a major influence when it came to Harriet's social views. With her father being a preacher, Harriet's family was extremely religious. She was schooled at the Pierce Academy and at the Hartford Female Seminary that was founded by her sister Catherine. She was given a male education and later taught at the seminary when she was an adult. On January 6, 1836, Harriet Beecher married Calvin Ellis Stowe, a professor at Lane Theological Seminary. The newlyweds eventually moved to a cottage in Brunswick, Maine, near Bowdoin College. Harriet and Calvin were the parents of seven children, four sons and three daughters. They shared the same views on the abolition of slavery. Harriet lost her son, Samuel Charles, which emotionally affected her and caused her to put herself in the shoes of a slave mother who has been ripped from her child at the auction block. This was a huge motivator for her book, Uncle Tom's Cabin. She wrote it in 1852 about a slave named Tom who's beaten to death by his cruel master, who happened to be jealous of Tom's honest and compassionate characteristics. Tom's selfless manner not only helped other slaves escape from their plantations, it brought many slaves back together with their families. The book exploded. It was translated into countless languages and was the second most popular book after the Bible of the 19th century. It changed people's views on slavery and ultimately contributed to the start of the Civil War and eradication of slavery. In 1869, the Stowe family invested in a winter house in Mandarin, Florida. Harriet published another novel, Palmetto Leaves, during her winters in Florida. The book is a travel memoir published in 1873 of the time that she and her family spent in Mandarin over the past four winters. After living a long, healthy life, which was rare for a Christian wife in the 1800s, Harriet Beecher Stowe died on July 1, 1896, at the age of 85 in Hartford, Connecticut. Though she is gone, her legacy will never be forgotten. She is remembered through many statues and memorials across the country. A statue in Hartford, Connecticut depicts Harriet and Abraham Lincoln meeting for the first time in December of 1862. She and her husband had a stained glass window built in their honor in a church in Mandarin, Florida. Unfortunately, the window was demolished by Hurricane Dora in 1964. Harriet was thought to be the most influential woman of the 19th century. Her novels will continue to be read countless numbers of times, and she will be remembered as an abolitionist for the rest of eternity.